Welcome back guys to another video here at Trader's Journey. Today we will be discussing strike prices. This is following on from the video which I've just made about expiration dates. So I hope that video made sense if anyone watched it and I will be following up now just discussing strike prices and why are they so important when trading. So generally speaking guys when we talk about strike prices we actually refer to them in three ways. We, we, we refer to them as in the money, at the money or out of the money. Now essentially what those three sort of terminology words or words mean is if you were to buy a contract which is in the money, for instance here we're looking at the Apple stock, the share price currently is around 112, 113 US dollars. You can just see it flickering between the two prices. If we were to buy a contract that was in the money, you can actually see, if anyone's familiar with the trading platform Tastyworks, you can see this orange line. Now for calls, obviously a contract which would be in the money, which would be something, a call contract which is already below the current share price, underlying share price. So for instance, if you were to buy a contract which was at a strike price of 110 US dollars, knowing that the stock price is currently at 112, you can say that that contract and that strike price is in the money. So you will you will also notice that contracts which are in the money obviously cost that premium. The reason being is because just like the name, it is in the money. It's already made profit on that call contract as it's moved up. The stock current share price is higher than the strike price. So essentially it's already made the money on that actual move of that contract. So generally speaking in the money contracts are um, more expensive and next up, next up to that is at the money. Generally when we say at the money it would be the contract which just falls where the stock price is and it's just the contract that's literally if you're buying a call it would be the contract literally just below that price or just below that line sorry so just exactly at the price of the, the current share price would be at the money contracts and likewise with um, put contracts you would just actually buy a contract just above the orange line which would essentially be at the money so so that's co that covers in the money and at the money now if you were to buy a contract which was out of the money that would be some that would be a strike price which would be over and above or over and above the current share price under current underlying stock price so if the current stock price was 112.5 going out of the money would be any strike price over that would be considered out of the money now if you were buying put contracts it would be any strike price significantly under the current price that is because for the put contract we're expecting the stock price to reduce um, so going out the money would mean the strike price would be lower so that explains the sort of three sort of traditional words which are used in options trading to define what strike price to purchase a contract for. So you've got in the money, at the money and out the money. So that's a sort of introduction to strike prices. Now, why are strike prices so important? Strike prices are important because it helps us gauge where we want or expect the stock price to go. And it will also be in line with what your trading strategy is. For instance, if I was day trading, I will always go to contracts at the money, generally speaking. Um, if I am looking to swing a contract over a few days or potentially weeks, I will always buy out the money contracts. Hence, because we will expect that stock price or that share price to move significantly more. So it just allows more time uh, on that contract. And out the money contracts are generally cheaper. So if you are swinging, a contract it just it is cheaper and you're putting down less risk on that particular contract and potentially you can make even more money depending on the volatility of that contract price and if that underlying stock price exceeds that out the money um, strike price so generally speaking if you're swinging and if you're buying for contracts which with, with late expiration dates you will generally go out of the money if you are day trading you will go at the money very rarely do I buy contracts in the money when I buy contracts in the money it's um, generally if a stock price is moving really quickly and is going on a run um, you can you can sometimes make a lot more money because the Delta on on 
contracts which are in the money are a lot higher so as the stock price underlying stock price goes up you can actually make even more money for each dollar dollar the underlying stock moves up by and you can see that by looking at this column here in delta you can see in the money contracts have a much higher delta so if you were to buy for instance 103 um, 103 strike price considering it's at 113 for every dollar this underlying stock goes up you will be making 0.95 delta on it which is extremely high and um, is almost equal to you know the the movement of that stock price so I, that, that essentially sums up what strike prices are and why they're so important for when you are options trading it is key to try and select the correct strike price um, but generally speaking if you are correct in the movement of the stock whether it's a call or a put or if you're expecting the share to go up or down regardless of what type of strike price you select you should most often make money if the underlying stock has moved in the direction you were expecting it to so that is also a good thing to note um, but i hope that sums up um, in simple terms why the strike prices are important and how you guys should be selecting those strike prices depending on your trading strategy or plan if anyone's got any questions leave it in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer any of those but i hope this has added some value for you any new traders or experienced traders um, and if anyone's new to the channel or this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the community as we help everyone in their options trading and financial investments so thanks very much for watching i will catch you all on the next video take care goodbye